Hop a day. We're back here at Saigon Couture in Chamorro with uh, Mr. Ray Valoria, and he's going to tell us a little bit about an island animal called a zuzu, which is the coconut crab. Hop a day, Mr. Valoria. Uh, uh, these are the zuzus from Guam, and uh, they're very strong. Uh, they, they, they could rip uh, buckets and cans apart, even. Uh, crush wood or whatnot. They, they're very good climbers and um, in order to catch them too as well uh, you got to catch them at night time. Uh, either uh, you can grate some coconut uh, or hang coconut more or less. Uh, they can smell coconut. And that's why they call coconut crabs. That's why they call coconut. Especially when you put coconut in it, yep. uh, when you're cooking it, uh, it really tastes good. Because they eat coconut. Yeah. Right? If you look at their, their pinchers, that's strong enough to crack open a coconut. Yes, and skin the coconut too as well. Okay. They can remove the husk. How old is the coconut crab? This right now, this could probably be about 15 years old. So is this a fully grown male? Uh, no, it's not. They can get bigger than this. How long do they usually live? Oh, they, they can uh, probably live, live up to maybe 100 years old. I, I don't really uh, know. But I've seen some that are real big, and in order for them to get to that size, you can tell that they're old. How do you tell the difference between the male and the female species? Well, on the bottom, we call this the abuni. And uh, what, what we normally do is we uh, pull down the, the bottom, and you see three three slits coming out here, and you okay. can tell that that's the female. But you uh, can tell this is a male. So, it's nothing to do with the color? Uh, no, the color will probably determine uh, how deep their hole is. When you say they're avid climbers, they can climb up coconut trees, but then they can also climb up cliffs. Uh, that too as well. Right. Steep cliffs where, uh, you know, we probably couldn't go to as well. Do they wake up at night? Are they more, act more active more at active night? At night. That means they don't like sunlight. They don't like sunlight. They will not come out in the day. Okay, so they're like regular, like Peng Lao, which is the land crab. Yeah, but that comes out more in the full moon. And then these guys just come out whenever they want to come out. So what colors do they do they come in? The, uh, this blue they and purple. Come in purple. Uh -huh. They can come in in blue. They can come in in green. Oh. It really all depends. And it's the depth of like where their home is. Yes. If you were to get the zuzu, uh, do you have to maybe feed it coconut, maybe clean it out? Yes, it's good to feed it for maybe about a week. And that's to clean out the toxins? Yeah, yeah the toxin of what it's been eating uh, for the past couple of days. How do Chamorros prepare it? Has it always been the same? Are they preparing it differently? Well, nowadays uh, you, you can make uh, a kadum pika, kadum uh, zuzu. You can do that too as well, but it's really uh, good with uh, pumpkin tips. So can you show us how to properly uh, catch one and, and hold it? Actually, when you're going to go after the crab, you got to be careful about its uh, two front pinchers. Mm -hmm. So when you grab the crab, you always go to the back, you hold them down, then you bring the legs forward, and you bring this one to the back. You make sure he's secured here. Yeah. Then you hold him up and you bring all four claws from the back and you make sure you hold them like this and you got to be fast when I put it down I wrap ah, it around okay. like this yeah. then I push it down and I push it secure that way mm -hmm. and you got to press in the pinchers That is a properly secured adudu. Otherwise, I wouldn't be touching it because this can break my fingers. Okay, Mr. Valori, thank you so much for joining us on uh, another segment of Island Images. Thank you very much. Okay, until we see you again, each other again. That's the author by Maladalu. Yeah, umalihi tatlu. Adios. Adios. Adios.